Hi everyone and welcome back to Life Cues. I am so excited to be back creating with you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm vibrating. I um, have had a real bout with my health. It's been up and down and up and down and round and round. It's like you got to buckle up and enjoy the ride. Do you know what I mean? But um, I've been going on daily walks, trying to get stronger, trying to get focused. Um, and I've been finding they've just been more helpful than any medication ever could be because um, most of the time I go by myself and it's the best meditative process. And I always think if my heart, lungs, and legs work, then walk through the pain, walk through the sorrow, and you come out the other end and you just feel a lot better so today is a good day so i am going to art journal with you and i'm so excited look at her book at least my book i'm sure if you're joining following me along if any of you are still following along your book is getting just as thick but when i picked this up and i was like holy we've managed to do quite a bit wowzers so we're on this page here and Today, and maybe the next few, but I can't promise, I want to focus on women and women's journey. Not like the Me Too movement or anything, but just women and their strength and their wonderfulness just in being a woman. I, I believe men are wonderful too, and, but I can't speak for them because I am not a man. But um, I'm just talking about us as women, or those of you that are out there that, that are women. Our prompt today is going to be no validation required. That's it. No validation required. You just do you. You don't need anybody to validate that it's okay for you to do you. Just do you. That's basically what it is. So I've done do you before, but this is a little bit different. So let's get started. Okay, so I, while I was out walking today, I decided to look around at the, the colors I could see mostly. And because it's autumn and very autumnal, I saw still saw a lot of really vibrant green. I was surprised at how much how much green there was. Like when you're actually looking for colors, it's surprising how much actual green. I thought it was going to be more orangey and ready, so I picked green, orange, and kind of a really pretty browny, rusty color. Those were the colors I wanted to do my page in. Now this is almost too dark, so I don't want this green, so I'm just going to do it kind of on the edges because I really don't want it to be that dark. So let me go get a color that is more like this green. So this is Shabby Shutter, so I'm going to just kind of, yeah, that will brighten up that color. And I think I'm going to have to get my applicator to get into the corners there. But I will do this first. You can see how juicy some of these are and some of these aren't, hey? But I want to get down that side there, so I'm definitely going to need an applicator. And then, I was just saying to Richard, I kind of miss um, not being in the art cabin because so many things are out there that I want today. But I might run out there and get some paint if I can't make do. Isn't that pretty? It already looks like autumn. So let me get an applicator and finish up this inside edge there. So there, I've added some green and I'm just gonna blend in a little bit of orange in that corner. Yeah, I read somewhere one of the prompts that if you ever can't figure out what you wanna do, um, color-wise, you know, just to get started art journal, because sometimes we're just stuck. We can't think of a creative thing. Just look around you, even if it's not outside, it can be inside, and pick three colors 
they don't even need to be coordinating colors because that just makes it more challenging for you um, to try to work with colors that aren't on the color wheel, that aren't meant to be, you know, complementary colors. Just makes it even more interesting, right? There, so I've got that kind of blended better. So then I'm going to do what I always do. My usual big old spray water bottle and give it a spray and then let the water react with these distress inks. So I'll be back when that's all done. It's going to look really pretty. Okay, if I've said it once, I'll say it again. My all-time favorite ink uh, treatment or uh, reaction is the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Nothing beats that. I mean, look at this. It's not gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. Just beautiful. I, it's my favorite. So anyway, I've got my background already, and those are the colors I saw today, actually, which is really, really cool. I'm looking out my window right now, and it's the exact same colors as this. So cool. Colors I saw today. I'm going to have to write that somewhere on this page. I'll put it over here so I don't forget. Colors I saw on this day. And it's September 17th. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside for a second, and I want to work on some other things that are going to be part of this page. So while I was also on my walk, I picked up these leaves, and I want to use them on my page. I have an idea of what I want to do with them. And I do have some really cool wax that preserves pages, so I'm sure if I treat the leaves that I use with the wax, it will... Um, it will preserve them and they won't crack. Under here, you remember when Indy was doing all of his little drawings and his artwork? I took another piece of his because it was just orange scribblings. And I stamped this stamp. I forget, honestly, who made these. I think they're Prima, aren't they? I can't remember. But I used her. And then I extended her body with a pencil. Can you see that? I'll kind of fold it. And you see her booty right here? And then her dress just goes down there. So um, I'm going to color her dress red in her hands here. I'm not going to draw her hands because when I draw hands, they just look so gibbled up. And I think I might just put some little tiny flowers or something in her hands. I'm not sure. And then I have been wanting to do that tea bag art in some capacity. So I've been saving tea bags. So what I do is I dry them on a paper towel that ends up looking this gorgeous when it's all done. Beautiful. And then I, at first I tried emptying them while they were wet. So you had to kind of rinse it and get it out and then all the tea stain went out of it. So now I dry them on the paper towel, snip the edge, and empty them once they're dry. So I've got quite a few saved in here. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I want to try and use those somehow. And I've got some words from the Tim Holtz quilt chips. These guys. And I might use the words on the page somehow and might put the tea bags over top of the words to give them a, let's just see how that would look to give them a bit of a tea stained look, but you can still read them. So this one says, be true. So do you see what I mean? Like you can still read it, but it's got that tea stain. So we'll see, I don't know. That's what's going on in my head right now. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and color her, her face and her dress. Okay, I went ahead and colored my lady. You can see her there. She's not glued down yet, but oops, I'll zoom out so you can see. Oops. Hang on. So she's the full length of the page. And I think I kind of want her on that side because I'm not sure what I'm going to do 
Like in my head I had all these ideas, but I'm not exactly sure if they're going to work out. Especially, I kind of wanted to make the leaves like a crown for her head. So, um, let me see. Maybe the smaller ones might work sticking out like... I don't want her to look like she's got on a headdress, you know, like a First Nations headdress. I want her to look like she has on a crown. And this almost looks like feathers. I might have to go... Yeah, I might go outside and get some little smaller leaves. Yeah, well, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to use this... Gonna, I'm going to use this big one for certain and I'll probably put it down in this left hand side corner if you can see and I'm going to, going to put the words be true these are those words I don't know if they come self adhesive do they no so I'll glue them on be true be brave and you use your wings. I'm going to put them there like that. I do not want to cover up her beautiful booty because I really like that part of her. And then I think I'm going to try to write the quote that I wanted to say. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use those. I'll write it on this. This is just yeah, I'm going to write it on this and somehow make it. You guys are watching my creative process because I'm thinking how I can make, put it somewhere. I don't know where to put it or how to put it, but I'll just put it. Or I might do it in strips. We shall see. So you see, I still will use the tea bags over the words, just to mute them a little bit. Oh, I like this. It's going to be pretty. So that's what I'm doing so far. Next I am, well, no, I'm not sure yet. But I, I'm not sure how I want to do the quote. I love this paper. I love the stains so much. You know, here's one. Look at this one. It has a straight edge right here. Do you see that? And so it can go against the wall. I can still cut the. Yes! That's it! And so I'm going to go ahead and write the quote in there right now. And the quote says um, just a minute, I'm grabbing it here. The quote says, The woman who does not require validation from anyone is the most feared individual on the planet. Love that. Yeah, that's going right here. Okay, let me go play. So look how cool that turned out on that piece. And I'm, I'm taking advantage of that stain there. So I'm just going to cut it along that stain line. Very cool. So I want to show you what I've done so far. I've been running in and outside trying to find the right leaf to make her a crown. And these ones were from our Katoni Aster Hedge. And they're perfect. And what I did with that leaf and this leaf is I added gel medium. Oh, you can't see the bottom one. Hang on. The one down here. Well, I'll show you after, but I added gel medium on top of the leaves. Now, these words, the Tim Holtz uh, quote chips, I took the tea bag and just simply put some gel medium on the word chip and then covered it with the tea bag. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So, I'm going to continue on with those ones. So, this word is pretty big. It says, Use your wings. So what I did is kind of just open the tea bag up and try to uh, maximize on the part that has the most staining in it to make it, you know, get the effect that I want. I love how that looks. See? 
And you can still clearly, clearly read the words. So that's really neat. So I'm just going to finish up those three. So here's my finished page. So what I did is I just took this uh, gold glitter glue, accented the leaves up there, and then put some dots in her hair and down her braids. And then I went on to add sway lines to her dress so it gave it some movement with the gold. I made her a flower out of my Wild Orchids um, White Tuscany Rose. One of these. And I just colored it with the exact same thing that I colored the flower in her hair with. And then, what else did I do? Different that you haven't seen. Be true, be brave, use your wings. I didn't add gold too much to this stuff because I wanted to keep the natural element of it. And then the quote. The woman who does not require validation from anyone is the most feared individual on the planet. So no validation required. That's the name of this page. I sprayed it with a new a Tim Holtz Distress Mica Spray. And this one is called Varnish Brass. It came with three of them. Varnish Brass, Brushed Pewter, and um, the other one is kind of a coppery color. It's called Bronze, Antique Bronze. So I just gave it a light spring. So I'm not sure if the camera is picking up some of that glitter on there but it's on there you can see it on her dress there in her arms so the whole page was sprayed with that so that's my page it was really fun playing had so much fun I was inspired by my walk so I got the leaves of course I had to go back and get many more but um, I really appreciate you guys watching and hanging with me and I hopefully I'm back on track and I hope you guys are continuing to do life cues I forgot to write the date but I will do that right away it is September 17th so thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you very very soon bye